Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is AT back with another video. So today is gonna be the review of the Dirty Unicorns Room based on Android 9.05 for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 3 running the Dirty Unicorns ROM as you can see and guys this is an unofficial build by the way not an official one and this ROM comes with very minimal applications over here guys some of the main applications like the messages etc is missing over here as you can see there isn't even gallery application over here that's really annoying for me because I have to download it from play store again third party applications messages app can be downloaded from play store but it doesn't come pre-installed over here that's really annoying and yep let me show you the settings menu of this room really quick i'll be talking about it in the later part so going into settings and your android version as you can see it's android 9.05 the letters from google and going back the security patch is of april 5 2019 that's expected again the kernel here is again the excrema x27 kernel version is 3.10.108 we have seen this kernel in a bunch of other pi roms and the build number so if anybody needs that information pause the screen and have a look at it so going back and talking about features in this ROM, as you can see it's pretty much similar to other ROMs out there. So going into the digital well-being and yeah as you can see here it is and it's showing that graph properly over here like the usage etc. That's good and going back talking about fingerprint scanner it's working absolutely fine for me no issues with anything. All other screen lot types also work fine. So talking about location it also works fine no issues with that. Fingerprint speed is really good here as you can see. One of the fastest fingerprint performance I have seen on a Pi ROM, as you can see, fast enough, unlocks in a blink. Going into the display option and talking about features in the display option, as you can see here are a couple of things here. The device theme which is on light, you can put it to automatic or dark. Accent color can be changed from here, here it is. Wiper OS NuGet colors, user requested and material palette something it says over there sorry for the bad pronunciation so these are the available colors over here as you can see there are a few more if you swipe it here so you can set whichever color you want it's on blue actually right now you can put it to some other color if you want to so qs style style can be changed from here currently it's on this one the rounded as you can see let us try this one i think the system ui will restart or i'm not sure nope no system ui restart over here it directly changed to that Another great thing, font can be changed from here, as you can see it's on Roboto, you can put it to whichever you want. OnePlus fonts are also available I think, let me see, I just saw that. And yep, as you can see guys, there is a bit of lag over here. Samsung one, it says over here, let us try it out. Okay, works fine. And talking about the tap to wake, it is also there, let me try it out. As you can see, tap to wake feature is present and it's working absolutely well. Ambient display settings are over here. As you can see, it's set on new notification. You can put it to lift to check the phone. I'm not sure whether it is working or not. Let us try it out. Okay, I have kept it on the table. No, nothing is happening over here. I think so, there should be a notification in order to make that work. Okay, it's working as you can see. It's set like always on now, it's not going off right now. Okay, this thing is working but not 100%, like it is not that responsive I should say. So talking about the customization option, as you can see here are a couple of customization options that comes with this room. Well organized again, big thumbs up for this. So first on the list is the system and in that we have lock screen items, miscellaneous and power menu. Let us try power menu really quick. Advanced restart doesn't come pre-enabled, let me enable that. And now we should have advanced restart on the power menu. As you can see, advanced reboot. You can reboot to recovery, bootloader, system UI and a short reboot or hot reboot, whatever you wanna say. So going back, talking about lock screen items, as you can see, you can change the clock style. It's on default, you can be to digital. So this one looks better for me. So I'll not be changing that. And a couple of other things are present over here. So going into the status bar, you can control status bar items from here, status bar icons, network traffic monitor, which is disabled. If you want, you can enable that and also the battery options, as you can see. And guys, you might be thinking, why is it not showing network over here? That's because of my SIM card, Tata Docomo, it's not working here. There is some issue with the SIM card, that's why. But Chrome definitely supports proper SIM card. Volte, everything is working fine. I have checked that and I had to put back my Geo SIM into my device. That's why now there is no SIM over here. Actually, SIM is there, but it's not working. 
so don't think that rom has some issues or anything like that no issues at all so going into navigation you can enable on screen navigation buttons from here and it just didn't enable over here i don't know what happened let me try here it is guys i think so it's a bug i'm not sure it's not getting enabled let me try once more so going into buttons nothing is there over there so going into navigation you can also swap the hardware buttons if you want to now this is back and this is for the recents and you can customize your hardware keys as you can see but on screen navigations aren't working over here Okay, let us try gestures. Nope, nothing is working guys, even gestures aren't working over here. Swipe up on the home screen. Okay, let us try gestures really quick. No guys, it's not working over here. So there is a bug in the navigation bar. It's not working here. I'm not sure why it's not working, but nope, as you saw in the video, it's not working. So that's a bug actually. The on-screen navigation buttons just didn't work over here as you can see. I'm really surprised by that because I haven't seen this bug in any Pyrom out there. On-screen navigation buttons work fine in all of the ROMs which I have tried, but not with this ROM. Talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working absolutely well. No issues with that and hotspot also seems to work fine i didn't had any issues with the hotspot but the network speed was not the best i'm not sure that's because of my sim card network issues or device issues but for me it was not that great so that was one thing which i found but nevertheless it works okay i think so that was a gesture yes okay this was just a normal one and talking about the performance let me show you my last geekbench score really quick so going into the benchmarks and history as you can see i've got a score of 1439 for the single core and 3140 for the multi-core score multi-core score is a little bit lower over here i have seen roms where i got score of 3500 plus on multi-core but not with this rom even though the device was cool enough i got this score so talking about the pubg gameplay it was pretty much similar to the other rooms guys there were slight lags here and there but no any major lags or anything like that it was playable for most of the part but with the latest update of PUBG it is a little bit laggy on the older devices like the redmi note 3 i have seen that because in all other rooms which i have tried after the new update it is the same it's a little bit laggy over there but nevertheless it works fine so ultimately the performance in this room is also good not an issue with that let me show you my battery life really quick by going into the battery settings and the battery usage as you can see when i first booted the rom the device was somewhere around 96 percent of charge later on i played pubg for around 20 minutes and there the battery drain was exactly 10 percent 10 percent of battery drain for 20 minutes of gameplay and the gameplay was not that great so talking about other usage i used youtube for like 10 minutes there the battery drain was somewhere around two to three percent not more than that so talking about the battery life, about my experience with the battery life in this room, it's really good. The standby time, I haven't checked that. I need to see that further. Later on, I can comment about it. I kept the phone for standby for like three hours now and it was on 84% and still it's on 84% itself. Now by this review, it has got down to 83%. I'll check the battery life, I mean the standby time and I'll have a story on my Instagram. Link is in the description. Do follow me over there. So this was regarding the battery life in this room. Talking about the camera application, as you can see, this one is that again, the camera app which looks pretty much similar to the Google camera application. So going into resolution and quality, back camera to 4K, let us try it out, I mean the 4K video recording. So there was a bug in 4K video recording in some rooms, as you can see, it's giving error over here, can't connect to the camera. So 4K video recording is a bug again in this room, guys, that's what I have seen. So talking about other things, I'll have all the links in the description like the XDA developers link if I have and the download link so do check it out. This was a quick little review of the Dirty Unicorns Chrome running on the Redmi Note 3. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. 
This is all about technology 24 to 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.